If you see this, run faster, without touching it. They may look cute and cuddly, but they've also been described as one of the most venomous creatures. Have you ever heard of post caterpillars? Many Central Florida residents are currently experiencing the return of these one-inch-long crawlers, typically found on oak and elm trees. The caterpillars, also known as asps, are covered in furry-looking hair, which hide extremely toxic spines that stick to your skin. A 15-year kid of Central Florida said that a puss caterpillar stung him while he was out with his family leaving a large grid-like mark on his wrist. He said that the pain was unimaginable and it was too intense that he cried. Looking at photos of the caterpillar, you might wonder, where are its head and legs? They're there, just hidden by its hair-like spines. While it's best to leave them without touching, experts say, if you do get stung, get the spines out of your skin as soon as possible using sticky tape. Ice packs can give some real pain relief. Even though southern flannel moths are less hazardous than puss caterpillars, officials say you should still resist from touching them. Puss caterpillar stings can involve itching, burning, rashes, and swelling, sometimes in several places on the body. Measuring in around an inch long, the puss caterpillar is common in Texas Florida, New Jersey, and Arkansas, in addition to surrounding areas. The bugs are typically seen in fall and spring months. If you ever get a chance to see them, don't touch it and also don't let anyone touch it. According to the people who got stung by this post caterpillar, the pain is unimaginably bad. If you got stung, don't touch the area and try to remove the small hair-like spines with the help of a tape and put some ice to reduce the pain. That is just the first aid. If the pain remains, you need to check with the doctor. And also check out OmniScience, because we charge your brains and let you know about these things. So, a cute-looking caterpillar can be the most venomous creature ever. Stay safe. And don't forget to subscribe to Omni Science.